How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're getting back to work on the CRX. Maybe even drive it today. Definitely drive it today, Matt. We're getting this thing running and we're going for a test drive today. So let's roll that intro and get into it. So what do we got going on, Tim? Oh, uh, so first thing, ball joint. So the upper, I believe it is. No, it was the lower. Lower ball joint, I think has, you can see that. That's all ball joint. So we have a new replacement. We have our press here. So we're gonna go ahead, replace that sucker. While I'm doing that, Matt's gonna be working here in the back, doing the brake lines. Finally have the brake lines with the double flares on each end. So we just have to bend them, fasten them into our new wheel cylinders, and then back to the the uh, rubber brake line, and then we'll be able to bleed the entire brake system and uh, actually take this thing for a rip. So we're also gonna do the exhaust. Uh, right now, it ends right at the, oh, what the heck was that? Anyways, <laughs> right now there's a tiny little tube that comes off the manifolds, and so we need to route that um, away from us. So uh, I don't know exactly what the, the requirements are, for the dirt cross, but I believe it has to be behind the driver and uh, exiting to the side or behind the car. So we're gonna have to run some custom exhaust out here, just something simple and quick. And uh, that's about it for now. Once we're done that, it's test drive time. All right guys, so we got a bit on our list today, so we're gonna go hard, get her done, and then we'll get back to you. A few moments later. Oh, well, here we go. Uh, the knuckle came out quite easily. Everything was nice and loose, which is rare and actually weird for a car this old. But we got her, we got the new ball joint. Um, so next step is to get the snap ring out, press this out in the press, press the new one in, and Bob's your uncle. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, guys. Well, we got uh, the brakes bled. I think they're good to go. Yep, they feel nice and solid when you hit the pedal. So uh, once we get on a test drive, we'll figure that out. But uh, right now, time for the exhaust. Yeah. Well, what else did you finish, Tim? The lower ball joint, right? Lower ball joint, yeah, that worked well-ish. Yeah, after we figured out that the, the press is not a good tool to use to press things in it. No, let's just use a hammer. Hammer worked, so hammer, hammer it out, hammer it in. It worked perfectly. Uh, ball joints nice and solid now the front end is all together so all the boring stuff is done now we get to go work on the exhaust yeah so we're gonna do a full custom exhaust on this thing so we found a flange in our spare parts uh, we need to cut uh, do a little bit of work on it to clean it up and then we will start uh, routing that exhaust let's do it all right guys so we went out into the yard and uh apparently i don't have very much exhaust stuff left but i did have this old piece of like canvas garage tubing laying around and it's a pretty nice straight piece so I think we're gonna try using that uh, we measured it out and it's about 68 inches that we need and uh, I think this was 60 inches so we'll have to add a little bit to it so the plan is going to be now to run the exhaust straight back here and it's gonna curve at the back there and then we're just gonna shoot it straight to the side and then uh, we were thinking maybe having it run this way and come out the rocker here, but uh, I don't want to do any more fabrication than I have to. So I think we're just going to have a 90 degree or maybe even a 45 degree drop to the ground rather than coming out the side. And that's going to be good enough. We're going to try and keep this as simple as possible. And I think that's going to be what we're going to do. 
but we don't have enough time left in the day for that so at least we got a plan figured out but uh we got to get this thing on the road and try a test drive so uh tim's working on lowering to the ground now slapping the wheels back on it and we're gonna take this thing for a rip see what she does yeah see hopefully we don't die guys well i'd call that a success <laughs> all right guys well i'd call that a success definitely that was such a good test drive better than we were expecting um the car uh reacts nicely mm -hmm. to throttle res throttle response <laughs> we're just so excited again we can't even talk throttle okay. response is super good and uh brakes worked good very good mm -hmm. uh we tested on gravel because that's what we're going to likely be driving on the kind of surface that we'll be driving on yeah uh, got it up to 80 kilometers an hour, which apparently is the max speed that we'll be hitting on this course. And uh, felt really good. Felt stable. Yeah. And uh, brakes good. Accelerates good. It handled the gravel well, too. Mm -hmm. Like, we were on some pretty loose stuff because they just laid fresh gravel this yeah. week. And, I mean, it didn't feel unstable at all. So, no. I mean, I'm pretty stoked about that. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think uh, definitely we're going to have to figure out the engine mounts because there was a lot of flex going on there. Yeah. And then uh, we just got to finish up the exhaust because the fumes were coming right up through the shifter hole. And uh, yeah, we were getting some carbon monoxide poisoning. So uh, yeah, we'll get that buttoned up, but uh, that's going to be for another day. For so, right now, yeah. uh, we're going to end this on a success because we don't very often get yeah. any videos. Usually it's a bad, like we get to a bad time and then it's like, okay, we'll just end it here. But no, <laughs> this is a good test good. drive. We've got a few more things to do. Got a couple weeks until the race. Mm -hmm. So uh a little bit of time to get those done and then it's off to the track. Right on. Well, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time.